Good morning. This is the Ramblings of Indiscipline Mind Podcast for Wednesday, February 10th, 2016. So it is snowing. It is actively snowing right now. Um, Pretty good, actually. Visibility is probably... No more than a half mile. Might be as slow as a quarter mile. It's probably a half mile. Well, I don't know. I'm more than a half mile from the upcoming traffic lights, and I don't see them yet. So, yeah. I'm going to say it's less than half a mile. Oh, they're there. Yeah, it's maybe right about half a mile. But it's snowing pretty good. It hasn't made road conditions too treacherous yet. But it's piling up. Which means that uh, I probably got some snow clearing in my future to do. Oh, the joys of winter. I finished a uh, short story by Nathan Lowell yesterday, and I don't remember the name of the short story. It was that one that was in that, that Starbound anthology I talked about yesterday. I finished that. It was interesting. It doesn't really... It really just sets up the characters. There's like two main characters. We have a brief cameo by Margaret Newmar. But other than that, you know, it doesn't, it's, it's, to me, it wasn't really like a story in the sense that there was a beginning. Well, there was a beginning. There was definitely a beginning. I mean, it started, but it wasn't like there was some sort of a conflict that got resolved. Really. Um, I won't. I, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't read it. You know, but, but it was fun. It was fun to meet the character, you know, because it, it stars this character named Natalia Ruggieri. I think I said yesterday, you know, so to be able to see what she's like, and I don't know if it's gonna be if he's how soon the the first book with her is gonna follow this story, but she was. You know, she was a lot different than I was imagining from what he said. Uh, And maybe it was a lot different from what he had been writing, because I know he kind of took a step back and and, uh, was starting over on that. But um, So, yeah, I'm I'm looking for the book. I I like neat stuff, and and I'll read the rest of that anthology probably later. But I had this big, thick library book waiting for me called uh, The... The Dark Between the Stars by Kevin J. Anderson. And it's one of my, one of the Hugo books for 2015. Excuse me. And so I just started on that. It's still, I I, I don't, I'm not sure I've met all the characters yet. Every time, you know, I'm I'm like 15 or so verses in, uh, verses, chapters in. Uh, and some of the chapters are, are relatively short, so that's not necessarily that amazing a progress. But every time I think, okay, we've got our, our basic stable of characters, he'll inter- we'll have a chapter introducing another one. He kind of follows the George R. R. Martin format, where each chapter is from a particular person's viewpoint, and they and they span a wide range of uh, races uh, and because we've got a couple different. We had humans. We had a couple different alien races as well, uh, and and locales and viewpoints. So, so yeah. So, hmm. I, I I'm kind of feeling like I'm in a I'm in a sports funk right now because you know football's done. It was a fun season, but it's done. I, I'm a little perturbed because, you know, the play of the Packers really fell off at the back half of the season. And, you know, without much explanation besides the fact they couldn't really get it all together. And then right after the season ends, you hear that, you know, Aaron Rodgers had minor knee surgery. And it's like, okay, well, well his knee was bothering him, you know. What a you know what a surprise! I, you know, 
people that I got a, a, a person at work that's also a Packers fan will talk about it. And I, and I, and I called it. I said, there'll be some sort of little injury that we'll hear about after the fact. And show sure enough. And what I'm waiting to hear is that, you know, he was like playing basketball. I'm, I'm, I'm making stuff up. I don't know what it's going to be, but I, I suspect it's something uh, on the bye week because they were perfect going into the bye week and then they weren't. They were horrible coming out of the bye week. And in a lot of ways, you know, how Aaron fares so fair at the Packers. <sighs> but, you know, so coming up, I don't remember if it's this weekend or next weekend or even a weekend after that, but coming up soon here, this month is the Daytona 500, the start of the NASCAR season. And, you know, that's usually something that I would be really looking forward to. But, my driver, the guy I like to root for, Tony Stewart, he just was on vacation and he was doing a little four-wheeling and he flipped over and he ruptured a vertebrae in his back. So he's he's not paralyzed. He can move everything, but he's got to get... I think he had to have surgery. And he's going to be out of the car for a while at least half of the season and yeah he was this was his last season he's announced he's retiring at the end of the season so I kind of feel like the decision of oh who am I going to root for now has been kind of brought forward quite a bit so yeah I don't know I'm, I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting up a whole lot of enthusiasm for that So, yeah. But I'm writing my paper. Uh, I'm writing my paper. I'm at about four pages right now. So, it's coming. It's coming. I'm kind of thinking if I can knock out about a page a day, you know, I will have it done by the end of this month. And it's not due until I think like the tenth of March. So that would be cool if I could get, if I could continue that pace. Maybe even, maybe even surpass that a little bit on the weekend or something. If I can continue that pace, then that would uh, be good. I may not, I may not, you know. Well, on the average, I could probably do that pace. I'm thinking I might rest on Sundays. But oh, excuse me. But we'll see. Anyway, it's just kind of a ramble today. Traffic's going kind of slow, but not too badly. And, uh, yeah, I think I'll let that be that. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.